Generally speaking, our lab is really interested in studying why certain bacterial infections are really difficult to treat. In Canadians with cystic fibrosis, typically Staphylococcus aureus and Pseudomonas aeruginosa are the two most prevalent pathogens in their lung environment. Cystic fibrosis is a rare genetic disease that affects over 4,300 Canadians. Individuals with cystic fibrosis have an impairment in their lungs where their lungs have a hard time clearing out the mucus that accumulates because of the impaired ability to clear mucus in the airways. These lung infections can become very persistent and prolonged. In particular, our lab hones in on one mechanism of antibiotic tolerance, which is biofilm formation. Biofilms are these communities of bacterial cells and they are encased in a slimy protective coating that the bacteria produce to protect them from things like antibiotics. What is unique about the cystic fibrosis lung environment is that Pseudomonas aeruginosa can undergo a genetic change in which it overproduces its biofilm and makes a lot of one particular sugar polymer. It makes this alginate polymer using a large structural machinery that's made up very many different components. So there's a number of different points within the sort of the machinery that you could target. These machines have this enzyme that is also capable of degrading the protein that in other studies we have used and exploited to try and develop essentially enzyme biologics that would be able to degrade or prevent the biofilm from actually occurring in the first place. As a national facility, the CLS does provide an absolutely critical component to our research. Without it, we would not be able to make the advances that we have, and without it, we wouldn't have been able to discover the key things that are now being able to be translated into hopefully ultimately clinical practice, but certainly from the point of view of being able to develop into, you know, phase one and phase two trials in due course.